Hello my water signs, how are you guys? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a reading focusing on how the person that you're thinking about for this reading feels about the connection. So we'll take a look and see how the Divine Masculine, whoever is resonating with that, and the Divine Feminine taps into the vibrations of whatever messages comes through here today. All right, guys, so I really want to start off with the Divine Masculine and where the Divine Masculine is coming from at this time. This is a general reading as always, guys. Won't resonate with every single person out there, so please do take from this whatever makes sense for you and your situation and let go of the rest. If you're interested in a private reading, that info is down below in the description box. And I'll also have a list of all of the card decks that I will use for this reading. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's start off with Divine Masculine. This is Flames of Alchemy, Divine Masculine card deck. Okay, so we're just focusing on energies, guys. It could be male or female. All right, let's take a look and see whoever is resonating with these messages. Let's take a look and see where the Divine Masculine is. Okay, we've got very confident energy coming forward from the Divine Masculine for this reading. Let's see what they are confident about. Let's add to that. Overload. Okay, so I've got a divine masculine who on one hand is feeling very confident about how things are going in his life, perhaps in certain aspects, but there are also certain things about his life, and I'm saying his, but of course it could be female as well, so whoever's resonating with these. Um, I have somebody who's also feeling a little bit overwhelmed, so it's kind of you know both both extremes here feeling confident one second and just feeling overwhelmed the next let's see what else what else for the divine masculine energy knowledge learning something gaining knowledge this is also furthering one's education honing one's skills in a particular craft or perhaps something new that you're trying to learn for yourself if you are gravitating towards a divine masculine we also have family coming through here so for those of you with families it could certainly be tapping into that energy okay so let's add to this let's see what else the divine masculine needs to bring forward at this time so angels and spirit guides for my water signs cancer scorpio and pisces how do they feel about the connection with the Divine Feminine? What's going on in the Divine Masculine's life at the moment, especially in regard to this connection? And for my Divine Masculines who, who have families, you know, it's perhaps part of this contradictory energy of feeling confident one second and just overwhelmed and overloaded by life's responsibility the next and for my divine masculines too who might be in school or just learning something new and just really very busy with life in general you know i feel that that may potentially be what's contributing to this overload energy here just having so much going on all at the same time we've got the devotion card coming through here so somebody is receiving that devotion from the Divine Masculine. Okay, Divine Masculine is also purging things out of his life that don't belong there, especially for my Divine Masculines who are overloaded with life's responsibilities and just too much going on at the same time, feeling overwhelmed. Let's see what else. How do they feel about the connection? What else, please, angels and spirit guides for the Divine Masculine? Okay, we've got winter coming through here. That could certainly tap into a time frame of the winter season, so around December. And this is also, on the opposite end of this card, is the energy of something that feels cold, stagnant. So for those of you guys who are resonating with this divine masculine message that's coming forward so far there 
perhaps might not be a whole lot of movement in this connection right now. Even those of you guys who have who have families and if there is a separation here between the two of you, perhaps that's why it's coming forward at this time. This is the bottom of the deck. We've got forgiveness. Interestingly enough, followed by return. So I have a divine masculine who might actually be very confident that you guys can get back together, that there is a potential for reconciliation with the divine feminine, bridge the gap between families that are not united at this time, a divine masculine who is in need of forgiveness, wants to apologize, definitely wants a reconciliation, wants the divine feminine to return. Look at the card after return. We've got commitment. So I feel here my divine masculine wants to recommit to the relationship, to the connection. Coming to the realization that he may have contributed to the reasons as to why this ended up going into separation, why there is that cold energy, feeling overwhelmed and overloaded by life's responsibilities, and perhaps the, just coming up with a plan as to how to bring the family back together. For those of you with families, or perhaps this is something that you guys had talked about, starting a family together. You know, family and commitment. Those of you guys who talked about starting a family. Let's add some tarot to this and let's see what else needs to come through. So this is still tapping into divine masculine energy. So this is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. You do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That is just the name of the card deck. Let's take a look and see what else is going on with the Divine Masculine here. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through. But um, what I have so far here is that my Divine Masculine still has a lot of love in his heart space, wants forgiveness, trying to release things from his life that no longer serve a purpose there in order to make room for a recommitment, a reconciliation with the Divine Feminine and wants a commitment here or a recommitment. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, steady progress. So that's really nice. That is Earth energy with the Pentacles. So that's Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. We also have the devil coming through here. Obsession. That might be for some of you part of the reason as to why there is a separation between the two of you. It could have been the divine masculine who was obsessed with something or someone. Um, the devil energy too typically taps into Capricorn energy. That's earth once again. And some of you guys may have a divine masculine who has some addictions, either drinking too much or drug abuse or some other form of codependent behavior. And in regard to romance, whenever the devil card comes forward, it is somebody that still has love for the person that they've lost and truly wanting a reconciliation wanting a second chance, you know, and that is being indicated by that return card right there and the need for commitment. If they were bad at commitment before, perhaps the divine masculine is ready to commit now. And I love the next card. We've got the ace of swords. That is air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini for some of you. And this card does read breakthrough and awareness. This is victory. This is clarity now in regard to this situation and how the divine masculine is able to see the situation now. Let's see what's what else. What else, please, for my divine masculine? How do they feel about the connection with the divine feminine?
What else, please? Eight of Wands. So we've got fire energy. Energy surge and communication, which is great. That falls right below that forgiveness card. So I, I really feel here that the divine masculine wants to reach out to the divine feminine to start talking once again to create change, make progress, move forward from where you guys have been, especially if things have been cold, stagnant, no movement. The Divine Masculine is really trying to purge out from his life what has been weighing him down, what has been overloading him. So this is a work in progress here. Opening up lines of communication once again. Let's grab one more. One more for the Divine Masculine here. Oh, nice. We've got the Chariot. So there's definitely movement charging ahead, as that card indicates. That is typically Cancer Energy. Tapping into your very own Energy Cancer. Could also be the other water signs, Scorpio or Pisces as well, but typically it is Cancer. So there's definitely going to be some sort of movement here, making progress, and it's really tapping into the same type of energy as the Knight of Pentacles with that steady progress indicated right there. This is triumph, a change in direction. It's movement, a triumphant outcome is indicated here. And so I feel that that's part of the confident nature that my Divine Masculine is resonating with at the moment. Confident that ultimately, despite the challenges and obstacles that are overwhelming this connection, you guys are going to be able to work it through. You'll work it out, overcome those obstacles. This is success now. This is giving you guys the confidence. Well, the Divine Masculine especially giving him the confidence to make the necessary changes to get things moving once again get out of this this cold stagnant energy of win that winter card and since it also represents a season those changes might actually start happening towards the latter half of this year that's nice okay so let's add to this with some romance angels still focusing on divine masculine here and then we'll go ahead and choose some messages for the divine feminine and tie it all together so angels and spirit guides please for the divine masculine what's going on in his heart space and i'm saying he and his but it could certainly be female it's just an energy <clears throat> excuse me i'm losing my voice it's just an energy representing divine masculine energy so again guys it could be male or female that whoever is resonating with that let's see what else is going on with the divine masculine here What I'm feeling for sure is that the Divine Masculine wants a reconciliation. Express your love. Yeah. Definitely wants to express what's in his heart space. Get it off his chest. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And I feel here towards the latter half of this year that is certainly a possibility. And I forgot to mention at the top of this reading that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're guided to tune in and watch. And if you happen to be resonating with the messages, I hope that it offers you the guidance that you're looking for. What else, please, for my water signs? Unbelievable. There we are. Look at these cards, guys. Express your love. Reconciliation. This could be the one. Wow. So I feel here that the Divine Masculine definitely wants to reconnect, work through the challenges, 
ask for forgiveness if that's something that the divine masculine feels he needs this is ultimately the divine masculine's goal is to have commitment or for some of you a recommitment if you guys are in separation which more than likely you are wow all right so let's let's go ahead and take a look and see what is coming forward for the divine feminine all right so let's add to this this is once again the divine feminine deck by flames of alchemy let's take a look now and see what is coming forward from the divine feminine energy and again it's just energy guys so this could certainly be for male or female as well angels and spirit guides please for my water signs cancer scorpio or pisces how does the divine feminine feel about this connection all right let's take a look at that guys and see divine feminine zero point interesting let's pull some more and let's see what else angels and spirit guides for my water signs divine feminine what else needs to come through here healing together i really feel here that you're on the same page divine feminine is wanting to surrender so very similar energy to that purge card that came through for the divine masculine surrendering has a very similar energy just you know letting go and purging things out of one's life that you know you can't control anyway so you need to let it go let's see what else what else please for the divine feminine how does the divine feminine feel about this connection creativity okay so divine feminine trying to be creative with how she is perceiving this whole situation with the divine masculine trying to come up with different ways to possibly express where she's coming from how she's feeling again i'm saying she but it doesn't have to be bottom of the deck is self-expression followed by attraction so there's this pretty intense draw to the divine masculine from the divine feminine there's a lot that she wants to say and i feel here it's very important for my divine feminine to be herself she's not willing to change who she is just to be able to have a recommitment here she is her own person truly very attracted to the divine masculine and by reconciling that's what's going to bring about healing in this connection so i really feel here the divine feminine is pretty much on the same page as the divine masculine at this time and i can't help but notice the next card after attraction which is mirroring mirroring energy is twin flames twin flame connection wow all right so let's add to this let us add to this guys with some tarot so twin flame journey tarot by mystic moon let's take a look and see what else we need to know at this time angels and spirit guides please for my water signs cancer scorpio pisces for divine feminine what else do we need to know at this time here how do you both feel about the connection i i feel here that for those of you who are in separation what you're wanting truly is to come back together there's still love here there's definitely a mutual attraction between the two of you you're both working on yourselves 
surrendering parts of your life, purging things out of your life that no longer belong there. I feel here that the Divine Feminine has a lot that she truly wants to express to the Divine Masculine, but it's got to be done at the right time, right place, right time. We've got the Seven of Wands coming through here, so that is Fire Energy, Defense Mechanism. Let's see what else. So Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius for some of you. And, you know, sevens in tarot, are it taps into faith. And perhaps that's being challenged at this moment, you know, especially with that seven of wands, with that defense mechanism. The seven of wands is competition, feeling like you're in competition with other people. That may be, for some of you, part of the reason why you guys went into separation. Perhaps the divine feminine is having to deal with third-party situations with the Divine Masculine or just feeling like other people are vying for his attention and she's not feeling like she's a priority in his life. That may as well be part of the surrender energy here. It's like just throwing caution to the wind and basically coming to the realization that she's her own person and that the Divine Masculine needs to make a choice here even though she realizes she's the right choice, ultimately that falls on his lap to figure that out. And in the meantime, she might be putting up walls around herself just to protect her heart so that she ends up not getting hurt. We've got a king of swords coming through here. That is air energy, somebody who's quick witted and very intellectual. And we've also got the Hermit coming through here. So for some of you guys, you might be thinking of a Virgo for this reading. So King of Swords is Air, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Somebody who's a very clear thinker, very intellectual, very smart and witty. So for some of you, that might actually be representing the Divine Masculine for you, if you are Divine Feminine. And then we've got... The hermit card coming through it's time to do some soul searching typically again tapping into virgo energy this is somebody who might at this time for my divine feminines you might be a loner at this moment or it's tapping into the fact that you're lonely it's time for you to make a move make a decision but you know that you can't make those decisions hastily you need to take your time especially in regard to this whole situation with your divine masculine. So you're taking the time for some of you to just go within and just quiet your mind, quiet your world. You need peace and quiet right now to just basically figure out how to handle all this and what it is that you're wanting to manifest by way of this connection. Even though what I'm feeling here is that ultimately you guys want reconciliation but it hasn't been an easy road here, regardless of the attraction that you feel. You guys are technically on the same page. I'm picking up off of that, but there are challenges that are represented here as well. Because there's a reason why for my divine feminines, you've got that def defense mechanism building up those walls around you so that you end up not getting hurt. Let's see what else. What else, please, for my Divine Feminines, for my Water Signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else, please? Okay. I'm not reading reversals today. Okay, we've got Five of Pentacles. Somebody who's isolated and alone. However, we do have the Ace of Cups love initiation and the page of cups a message of love bottom of the deck is six of wands this particular card reads success and recognition so even though i feel for my divine feminines that this connection hasn't been the easiest i feel that you guys have had your fair share of hard times and disagreements and for some of you, I feel that there are third-party situations or just broken trust in the connection. 
some of you have chosen to really just isolate yourself, especially with that five of pentacles energy. So that's more earth energy there, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Right next to that hermit card, we've got an additional focus on Virgo here. Five of pentacles is somebody who's very insecure, somebody who worries a lot. And since this is focusing on divine feminine, it could certainly be my divine feminines who's in that space. Worrying, you know, whether or not the divine masculine will ever be able to offer his cup of love to be able to fill this cup of love. But I feel here, absolutely, that's a possibility. Cups is your own energy. That is water energy, so... It's just a matter of time, I feel, before you guys ultimately come back together and work things out. And my Divine Masculine might actually reach out to the Divine Feminine with a message, wanting to open up lines of communication once again and just start talking about how to fix the relationship, fix what's broken so that the healing can begin. Things will ultimately work itself out. I do feel that. This is giving my divine feminine the self-confidence to know that there is progress that is being made here. And if it's not there yet, I feel given time that it will. And that's actually really good because part of the surrender energy is just throwing it out there, you know, allowing the universe to work on your behalf to just create movement where there isn't any and to just ultimately bring you guys back onto the same path that you need to be on so that you can work through the challenges and work on the relationship start talking once again and overcome those obstacles that at this time are overwhelming this connection i do have a divine masculine here that's feeling overloaded here where's that card he definitely wants reconciliation, but you see that? That overload energy from the Divine Masculine. All right, so let's add to this, guys, with some Romance Angels. Focusing on my Divine Feminine. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. What else do we need to know for my Water Signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Divine Feminine. How does the Divine Feminine feel about the connection? So I feel here Twin Flame energy in this particular reading. You guys are actually on the same page. You're mirroring each other's energies. I've got a Divine Masculine who's purging things out of his life that no longer belong there. I've got a Divine Feminine who is surrendering and releasing and letting go of things that don't belong in her life as well. You're both mutually still attracted to each other and uh, wanting reconciliation. Okay, we do have unrequited love coming through here, interestingly enough, though. It does say there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of my Divine Feminines, perhaps you've had a change of heart. This is certainly coming through for some of you because not everybody's going to want reconciliation. Interesting how we've got deception right after that. So for those of you who do not want reconciliation, who have truly just moved on beyond this connection, and that's part of the surrender card for some of you as well, letting go so that you can find something else, someone else. Someone else to fill your cup of love. Okay, so I feel for those of you who have truly moved on, these two cards are referring to that deception. I feel typically taps into manipulation, lies, infidelity, third-party situations, somebody who's being dishonest. As this card reads, someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. You know, someone pretending to be something that they're not. And the Divine Feminine, for some of you, might not be so forgiving. So I have those of you who are 
truly wanting to welcome back this person that you are thinking about for this reading. And then there are those of you who would really not want to reconcile that that's a done deal. That's a chapter of your life. That's that's done. And you've surrendered it. Some of you guys might actually have moved on and are attracted to somebody else that you feel is your twin flame. OK, so it really depends on how you're resonating with the messages that are coming through here. But if you want to go back into union with this person for my divine feminines wanting to go back into union with a divine masculine the opportunity is here next card after deception very interesting we've got soulmate followed by wedding okay so what i'm gravitating towards by way of the soulmate and wedding cards here is that for those of you who are willing to work on the partnership with the divine masculine this is somebody for some of you guys you might gravitate more towards thinking of this connection as a soulmate bond rather than a twin flame connection and that's certainly coming through here so not only do we have mirroring energy for those who feel you're in a twin flame connection but we've got soulmate representation here as well so it really just depends on how you see the type of connection that you are in and for those of you who are willing to work on the challenges in this relationship allow either your twin flame or soulmate to come back into your life offer you their cup of love there's a potential, guys, for you guys to get married someday. That's coming through here. And I feel for my divine feminines, this is something that you've been wanting. A reconciliation with either your twin flame or soulmate and picturing a future with your divine masculine and truly wanting that type of long-term love to be able to build a future together by way of family and a marriage, a successful union. Okay, so that's what I'm grab grabbing from the Divine Feminine. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for you guys and let's see what else needs to come through so let's grab some messages from the fire witch tarot infinity oracle so angels and spirit guides please bring forward any additional messages in regard to this connection for my water signs cancer scorpio or pisces let's see what else needs to come through for this timeless reading for my water signs angels and spirit guides what else do we need hidden treasures things beneath the surface that you might not even know exist at this time guys let's see what else and sometimes you know we don't always realize the value of the connection that we are in especially when there are arguments or you guys are just having a rough time of it lately and the connection beneath the surface is actually as this card indicates a hidden treasure so it's something that needs to be worked on it's something that needs to be uncovered so that you can discover the treasures that are hiding beneath the surface of that relationship what else please for my water signs cancer scorpio or pisces what else please angels for this connection for my water signs masculine waiting on you so divine masculine is waiting on the divine feminine to possibly give him a sign that it's okay to start talking again to start looking into the possibility of reconciliation bottom of the deck is perfect timing the card after that look at that spending quality time it's just a matter of time guys before i feel you're able to 
move this relationship to the next level. It is going to take time. It's going to, I feel, start shifting, start moving, especially the latter half of this year. I'm feeling December-ish, January, for you guys to be able to start talking again about whatever it was that went down in your relationship. I feel more so that it is my divine masculine who is just allowing the divine feminine some extra space to be able to figure things out for herself. And when you guys are both on the same page, in which I feel you're close, um, it's just going to be creating movement when you're both ready, I feel. Because ultimately, I really do see this as the ultimate goal for the connection that you're wanting to be together, you're wanting to reconcile, you're wanting a relationship in the 3D, you're wanting to overcome the challenges. You know, you're done with the with the obstacles and hardships that your relationship has gone through. And I feel if you put in equal effort, both of you, then you guys can actually make it work. There's a chance that you guys can actually make it work here. All right, let's add to this with some signs from Spirit, Love, Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What else can you tell me about this love connection? For my water signs, please. All right, let's see what else. What other messages would you benefit from at this time? Beautiful. Green. So some of you guys might actually have green as a favorite color. This card is health, prosperity, and abundance. The next card after that is the key unlock so you actually have the power to unlock the door and open up a new direction for yourself part of that new direction is finally coming back together with the person that you're wanting to manifest a reunion with and if you've been having some health issues you will overcome that if money has been a little bit tight for some of you, things are going to improve in that direction as well. You've got the key to unlock a better future for yourself. Not just in regard to love and romance, but other areas of your life that need it, I feel. Let's see what else. What else, please, for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Angels and Spirit Guides? milk nourishment i feel here that if your relationship especially has been starved of the type of energy that it needs to grow i feel here now that this particular card is giving you the proper tools to nourish the relationship to nourish each other with love and affection and what it is that has been lacking before you guys can make that work Let's see what else. What else, please, for my water signs? How do they feel about the connection? What's up with this connection? Angels and spirit guides, one more card. Eyes revealing. So this is finally allowing you to see the situation for what it is so that you can start dealing with the issues because before if your eyes were closed to the challenges if your eyes were closed to truly what was going on in your relationship in your life then it makes it very difficult for you to start working on those issues so now that your eyes are open and i feel both of you guys are on the same page and you're really wanting to spend quality time with each other whether you resonate more with a twin flame connection or a soulmate type bond it doesn't matter this is giving you the opportunity to work on the challenges so that you guys can come back together and move forward from that and actually welcome in a better future with each other. You've got the key to unlock all of those possibilities. Look at this bottom card. You've got 444 coming through here. If you happen to be seeing that number, it's trying to gravitate 
towards grabbing your attention. This card reads your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. That's fantastic. And the card after that, look at this, 333. Three, three. That's the Trinity, guys. This is a great card, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. Two beautiful cards. So what I'm feeling here truly for my water signs is there's a pretty amazingly strong possibility of reconnecting with this person that for the majority of you guys tuning in, you are in separation from this person. They still have love for you. You still have love for them. I have a divine masculine that's feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now, but I do feel that that's temporary and eventually will be able to express the love that is in his heart to the divine feminine. And I really do feel that the divine feminine is wanting nothing more than to reconnect and just build a future with her divine masculine. Marriage, family, all indicated here. And look at this next card, guys. Second reference, bridge and reconciliation. Two references to reconciliation. Where's that other card? Here it is. So the desire from both the divine masculine and feminine is equal. You guys are on the same page. You're both wanting reconciliation here. And I feel with equal effort from both people to be able to manifest that reconciliation, it's just a matter of time before you guys can ultimately manifest this in the 3D. So that's how it is, guys, in regards to this particular connection for my water signs. I really do feel that this connection has a fighting chance of making it. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more readings for you guys. And um, thank you for spending this time with me, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.